to our program at ngayon naman pag-usapan natin the musical musical show, a musical comedy show. Panoorin natin ito. Inviting all our kababayans to the Musical Musical Show, a musical comedy show. The Musical Musical Show takes place on the opening night of the Comedy Comedy Festival. It features a night of musical comedy songs and sketches from your favorite TV comedians, YouTube, and Broadway. Tickets are $20 and $15 for JACC members. Hosted by Amy Hill of The CW's Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Vincent Rodriguez III from The CW's Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Nico Santos from NBC's Superstore, Rodney Toe from NBC's Parks and Recreation, Parvesh China from The CW's Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and Tess Paras from The CW's Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, with Kevin Yee from YouTube and the original Broadway cast of Mary Poppins. This is co-produced by Tess Paras, part of the Comedy Comedy Festival. A Comedy Festival is produced by Disoriented Comedy and the Japanese American Cultural and Community Center. Kasama natin, the people that are part of this production, we have Tess for us and Rodney Toe. What's going on, guys? Hello, Hi. thanks for having us. Well, it's good, it's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> when we had Rodney here last, he was promoting one of the nice ones, and now we have the musical, musical comedy show. Uh, let's talk about this. I know, Tess, you're producing this. I'm one of the co-producers, You're yes. one of the co-producers. Yeah. How did this come about? Uh, this is the second year of the Comedy Comedy Festival. Um, I'm really excited to be a part of it, of, of it last, uh, this year. Rodney was a part of it last year. Um, it came out because of, there's a collective of comedians called Disoriented Comedy, and I've done some shows with them before in the past. They've brought me on to do storytelling shows, and they said that they have this huge project where they're bringing together all the Asian American community of Southern California, but we've also got people coming in from the Bay Area, from Chicago, from New York, a bunch of people coming in to just share all of our comedy in one place. So um, not only is it stand-up and improv and sketch, but it's also storytelling and we're the musical element. So we're going to be kicking off the festival on Thursday night. Wow. Yeah. Opening night. Opening night. <laughs> we're doing it. No pressure. We're not nervous at all. We're fine. <laughs> okay. So what can people expect? from uh, the opening night. What do you guys have prepared? Can you share with us just a little bit? I'm gonna let Tess speak to that because there's, <laughs> yeah, um, there's I mean, a little bit of everything. It is, uh, we yeah. are doing a lot of musical improv, but there's just gonna be a sort of a, it's gonna be like a mishmash of a bunch of different things, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, We're also doing I think the, the biggest part of it is we all come to musical comedy from different backgrounds. So um, I come to it because I, I do a lot of sketch parody songs on my YouTube channel, as well as um, performing uh, live at the UCB Theater. So I perform, my musical comedy there. But then we also have um, another performer, Kevin Yee, who's coming to us, and he used to be on Broadway. He was in the original cast of Mary Poppins, but he also does a lot of uh, fun songs, uh, original songs that he does. Um, but then everyone's going to come to it. I know uh, Vincent from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, he's going to come and he's going to do a twist on some pop songs. We put his own comedic spin on some things that are fami some familiar songs. And then Rodney's got a, a big surprise for all of us that I won't tell. <laughs> yeah, what it I, is. Yeah, I, I, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to performing this in front of the LA audience. I haven't done it, so I'm, I'm excited. It's topical. It's very topical. Oh, that's a good one. It's very, very topical. <laughs> okay, the, the suspense is killing me. Surprise. I wish I knew what it was. Yeah, we, when we called and talked about it a couple days ago, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, you have to do that. So yeah. it'll be, you know, it's really a grab bag. I feel like it's, it's a great little kind of uh, sampler of musical comedy. And, and, you know, the whole entire weekend, the whole festival is just going to be so diverse on itself. I think the best part of it is, you know, we have over 100 Asian American performers over the course of four days. You know, um, from television, you know, we've got people from Fresh Off the Boat, from uh, Dr. Ken, from the TBS show Wrecked. Like, we've just got everybody. Every every Asian American comic. Like, it's going to be such a dream to have everybody come together in one place. I and think it's also so important because, like, so many of there, there's so many of these comedy festivals that happen throughout the country, throughout the world. Yeah. But this is, I think, like the first one where every sort of like major. Uh, Asian, Asian and Asian American comedic performers sort of can sort of like uh, come together and sort of perform in one sort of like festival. I don't think it's ever been done before, no. which is really exciting. And you know, we all, you know, it's like it, it's like Sundance, and you've heard about like the Telluride Comedy Festival. You've heard of all of these festivals, but there's never one been one sort of like uh, 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 specifically Asian American one, which is exciting. Yeah, okay. it's really huge. Well, last year I was able to be there because Rodney uh, directed our PPP, our uh, Pan Flip Friday show, yes. and. 
and I was able to watch the entire show. A lot of the people that were there the first year are going to be there. Jennifer Yang, yeah. uh, Jenny Yang, rather. You know, uh, oh, the show was there last, last year. year. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and she she performed, and she also it was very moving because for her, when she was growing up, there was not this sort of you know community yeah. of Asian Americans in comedy. Yeah. And obviously, you you guys are growing, mm -hmm. and not only that, you're on TV in mainstream America. Yeah, hey, thanks. we did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's huge, okay? <laughs> it's really, yeah, I mean, I, I heard, you know, Margaret Cho was saying that that was the first time in her career of sharing the stage with other Asian American mm -hmm. comics. I mean, and I feel like that's an important thing. We're really, you know, trying to say that we're we're contributing so much to the face of what comedy looks like. It's not just what we think it is about what stand-up looks like or what stand-up comedians look like, but Asian Americans are a huge part of that, and it's a diverse on its own from, you know, stand-up and sketch and improv and musical and, mm -hmm. and alternative comedy. And I just love that this is a, 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 this is a, a opportunity for Asian American comedic Asian American performers to perform together. Yeah, oftentimes so on television, supportive. you know, it's really great with like uh, shows now like with Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and with like uh, Fresh Off the Boat and Dr. Ken. Uh, uh, I'll be, uh, prior to this, usually there was like one or two mm -hmm. at most Asian American performers. On and any now, given show. now to right. see our them experiences sort are front of like, and yeah. center, right? Yeah, when we great. return here on Kababine today, Tess Palas is here. Of course, we're going to talk about Crazy Ex Girlfriend. We'll be right back.